death instructed his godson in the herb's magical properties and followed up with a stern admonition concerning its misuse. Considering this dolt's lineage, what were the chances he'd heed the warning? I prefer my herbs carnivorous. Make it smelly! So yes, we have a very simple goal in mind. Make it pretty small to infect some of these lovely herbs. But, well, as Grim has shown many times and time again, not all is as it seems. The magical cure-all herb, yes. But, what if it were something much more mal malignant? Rumpin', stumpin', butt-kickin' good! We'll get there, Grim, don't worry. We'll get there, Grim, don't worry. Error er but stuff will happen. Like, what if they were slightly more carnivorous? Dangerous. Aye. Having the more willful content to do absolute evil. Well then, <laughs> we have fun time now, wouldn't we? Um, and already there is one of the secrets, which is kind of just around the corner, hidden around by a tree. It's not hard to find. And a lot of speed up, and basically speed ups. This is how you're gonna kind of get your maximum darkness by just. Running around at the speed of Grim, really, quite literally. Yeah, places to go, and you gotta dark in all the things, so to say. And by all of them, I mean literally all of them. It's basically how you're gonna actually keep a pretty good darkness level, just going to that speed boost every now and again, just to kind of convert the world to darkness as you can. Once you can at least get the children and dogs out of the way, things get a little easier. As they start fearing the filthy men. Oh. And yes, I'm intentionally ignoring the objective because I know there's that that one is not the. I don't think that's the end of the scene. Even if I convert that one, but even so, I'd rather get rid of as much of the world as I can because. That's now the third. That is now the third sword. That is now the third silver medal I've acquired, and I'd rather try to not do that for darkness. Even though this is, I shouldn't care as much. It still kind of bothers me a bit. It's like I haven't. I'm not doing my job properly of making things macabre as I can make it. It's like, what am I doing wrong? Or I converted it when I was looking, never mind. Make it gross. I need to be really careful Chopin about that. Stump. But yes, now we have even more of these herbs, Stop miracle it. herbs to convert. We're so close to nasty. So very close. I need that speed up thingy. I need that speed up power up again in order to actually make any real real headway anyway. Or I could just get it there and basically get the closer converting I need to get rid of annoying cleaners who wish only to make my life annoying. Oh, and they're crying too. How tragic. If only I had a care for them. Serves you right. Serves them right. If they weren't doing if they would let me do my job, none of this would happen, now would it? Yes, the filthy man did come. And he came like a fast wind. You weren't able to, able to predict when he came. And we're nearly done as well, so. We should just we can do like one quick run around to see if there's anything I haven't missed in. Sorry, that tree was bothering me. I needed to get that done. I thought I heard a cleaner, but I think I might have just been hearing things. Make it rotten. And yes, even more plants are growing. It's kind of pretty amazing. 
Stop it, girl. And you think it's the end? This is it? You would be Stop so it. wrong. There's still much more sights for him to show up and show. Especially because there's dead people in them, which is amazing. Chop it, stop it. Make it disgusting. Chomp and stomp. And de coup de gras. One massive herb. Time to make it the end. Eat your veggies before they eat you. True words could not have been said. But with that, let us continue onwards to the next scene. Plague, my pretties. Plague! <laughs> Let's move! So yes, now instead of actually having the royal physician of Godfather Death being a physician who healed and cured, we're just going to make a pl we're going to bring a plague into the kingdom. What is it? Now that seems something more befitting of the great man of the kill of the great equalizer himself of such wondrous death. So yes, plague is what we're bringing to this wonderful kingdom. Plague befalls the king. And the godson, now doctor to the royal family, saves him with an unauthorized application of the magic herb. Death is pissed. It's a pity to anger him when the royal person looks merely feverish. Let's make this treachery worth the wrath. Get sicker, king! Make it foul! So yes, to make this even worse, we're not only bringing a plague in here, but we are making sure it's a proper plague. Making as many people as sick and dead as possible. So these flyers need to go. To be more dead, sickly people. As well as guards and soldiers. All so it is me to be possible. As after all, Grim said it himself. These people need to become sicker. And they're not gonna get sicker if we're just gonna doll around just fanning a boot with our thumbs up our ass. Also, there's a secret up here. Grim secret. I guess it kind of goes without saying, I suppose. Oh well. But yes. The plague here is looking even. It's definitely looking Stop more plague ridden over here, wouldn't you say? I'd, I'd think so. It's looking alright. Hey, you! Stop it. Stop what you're doing right now. Also, I should check to see if, these, if there's anything I can do back over here. Ah, yes, of course! I forgot the bleeding trees! How could I actually. How could I have forgotten these trees? I should be ashamed of myself. Yes, the trees actually bleed. It's fantastic. Quite wonderful, really, honestly. This is a happy kingdom. A happy kingdom. The people smile and the people cheer. Help me! As they as plague comes and claims lives. One by one by one, they all fell. For this was a happy kingdom. A happy kingdom. Make it repulsive. Now, if I remember correctly, that elephant over there is the is the final part of this scene. So let's bring the plague on in. Under this elephant is the la is another secret. You detected a secret, Grim, my friend. So let's contaminate the waters and well, plague this shit up some more. That's what you do in a real epidemic. You leave nothing to chance. You make sure everything is contaminated. 
is able, anything that is able to be sick, do so. Anything you can pollute, you pollute to hell. Anything that is remotely able to be ruined, you do in a heart, you do without hesitation. For that is the real way. If you are to bring plague and pestilence into the world, you leave nothing to chance. I wonder if that reflects upon my person if I'm willing, able to willingly go to that extreme. Nah, I don't think so. I think it just shows I'm just a simple, I'm a normal person. Normal people, yay! A bit putrid, yeah, but yeah, still norm, still normal. Better than you. Better than what you can do. Woo! Also, more skulls around. And the city, the plague in here is looking rather fine, if I say so myself. <laughs> when the comely princess got the plague, probably caught it from dad, the godson predictably used the herb to save her. Contrary to death's command. The princess lived, but the godson's history. Can't wait for this dunce to be dead. Make it putrid. Robin stomping, butt kicking good. But we're not done, no. Or indeed, I forgot about the princess. So let us bring the pr plague down to her alley then. She's not sick enough for us. No. If anything, she could be sicker. So let's do so. Don't delay, With that, this should be the end of the scene. Next time you get sick, my dear, take two aspirin and die. He's too stupid to realize that begging is useless. He's going to the underworld and not just for a visit. This makes sure he takes a few innocents along for the ride. Make it vile. And again, apparently I am completely wrong because I have forgotten like how much they actually put the story together in this single little tale. So we gotta make it vile once more. But and bring me. as many of these little uh, boss and bring as many people with us in this plague-ridden town in this pet kingdom. A happy village, I say. A happy village. Stomping them is happy. No one could suspect a thing. Stomping. For this is a happy kingdom. A happy kingdom. A happy kingdom indeed. Stomping good. Woohoo! Nothing like a day trip to the underworld. Death's sweet embrace. And that was scene six. I will ca Oh wow, I didn't even realize I was leaving I left the last scene for I left the last few scenes for last, but either way, we will go to the final scene, so we'll see you then. Death often tours his domain, but never for fun. Still it seems too benign. Let's make it morbid. Make it foul. Let's move. And welcome to the underworld. One of perhaps my favorite areas of Grimm. Next to the wharfs, the war scene of the woman without hands. Basically, we get to see we are basically adding more of the chill of death. So, yeah. More potential ice physics for us to deal with, yay. As well as basically, instead of all these tall arse candles that represent long lives, we're kind of making them a bit shorter lives. 
perhaps more souls for for death to collect, as well as possibly one of the more annoying. But stomp away. One of the more annoying cleaners of all. These old angelic people. They are by far one of the more annoying people, and I have lost a lot of progress because of them. And their ilk. So, for now, I would just say keep going. After he disobeys and insults death, the dope pleads with him to relight his candle and spare his life. Please, death, end it now and let's make it messy. Make it disgusting. So yes, we've now seen the candle of the actual godson. It's not as... It's a bit big. To be something of such a short life for a, for that simpleton to demand it to be you know restored. You know we're gonna do some. We are totally gonna do something about that too. But of course, it's only natural. Because why not? He doesn't deserve it. We're gonna make sure everyone gets their price to the right. Because in the end. Death collects his fair properties. Oh, yeah, that's right, we can now convert the angels, which means they get their proper dues. And it's fantastic what happens to them because they become screaming people. They spin around and explode. I love it because it is in a way like it's proper vengeance for these bastards because the moment you can actually convert them it you just go to town and get rid of them and just watch them explode into little souls it's so wonderful And yes, I came back all the way to the start to convert things into darkness yet again. Why? Because, well, I'm thorough. If any, if there is anything you will learn, I try to be as thorough as I can in these for darkness. So I don't want any more. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to not get any more silvers. I'm so sad over the one with the devil because I could have sworn I got, I, or at least the one with death. I just sworn I converted his, like everything. But apparently that everything was just not enough in the eyes of death. Rather tragic too. Well, I should use the super butt stomp to convert more things, maybe. That would sell. That would probably solve all my issues, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who's to say? I know death probably knows. He's not gonna tell me really. He wants to be as vague as possible, which you know, I'll give him that. It's fair. Also, I love how you can t how the chains actually do turn into like spinal columns. It's rather, it's actually pretty cool to be fair. And the platforms become rib cages of sorts. Oh, damn! There's a secret there, by the way. Forgot to mention. Looking for something? Nope. I gotta dig it up all right. Just look how ama- oh, look how better this underworld is becoming. It's being cold, bitter, bleak. As it, as it properly should actually for the land of the dead. At least that's how I feel. Perhaps it's just me. And so many more souls going away.
Also, I will say that I'll admit it's. I love the sound that they make. The little sounds they make as they're like spinning around rapidly just before they explode. Like, Aah. okay, yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. I think we're nearly done with this area too. Cause I think all there's left is just well, yeah, the final can, the final candle. This wintry one in this cold, Don't barren place. So let's put an end to all of this, and I will see you got, and I will leave you all with Grim. <laughs> ah, death, you're too kind. Take this fool to Hades. He's kicked the bucket, given up the ghost. In short, he snuffed it, met his maker, passed away, passed over, passed out, passed gas, gone. <laughs> Enough! Better the silly sod had exposed the child, or thrown himself under the nearest ox cart to celebrate the birth. Who but a cowardly idiot wouldn't prefer extinction to utter hopelessness? Cheat death? I don't think so. A painful stint of suffering, misery, and death all round. Serve them right. Forgive me, Lord. I haven't been a bad man. Just imprudent. Presumably, another word for obtuse or oversexed, or both. Stop whining and mind the brats, you licentious old goat. The nappies are filthy. I'll take poison before asking for a favor, God. Each time before I begged for your help, I might as well have asked the cat. For some small consideration, I could persuade one of those nuns to break her vows. You miserable tinker! Times I've offered you up my soul and services for a little money. What did I get? Nothing! A sneer and a puff of smelly smoke. You won't be my son's godfather. I've already rejected God for the job. You randy wretch. I'll take the boy as my own. And I'll mark you for death. It's a good day to die, and the world will not miss you. Oh no, death! Take the boy, but put me down for another day! Cowards and fools die often, but your time is near enough. So death introduced his new assistant to the finer points of his craft. I'm about to get busy. Plague is coming. Millions will perish. Never question me, never contradict me. If you disobey, you will suffer. Swear to it. I do, Godfather. This isn't as much fun as it looks. There's the drudgery, the smell, and a lot of moaning. No marked for immediate demise. They've already begun to stink. Get to work. All right, except for this one. I want to save her, Godfather. It cannot be. Her story has been written. It is finished. All creatures have a time. Hers has come. Do not resist it. I must. She's a princess. She can make me some money. If I clean her up a bit, heal the oozing sores, make her some teeth, find a wig, you know. It almost saddens me that you don't have the brains of an ant. You're done here. What are we doing here, Godfather? Are you really that dim? You've come to die, and I'm here to bear witness and settle a score. You swore a vow and broke it. But I'm your godson. As if that could make a difference. All beings owe a debt to me. Your payment is suddenly due. doesn't know that it's dangerous to break faith with a godfather. 
The doctor's overweening ambition and lack of judgment showed his true parentage. Death may be heartless, but he's fair, and he does know how to keep a promise. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs>